hello what's up guys you are welcome back to across nigeria how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing wonderful as for me i am doing fine it's a beautiful wednesday morning uh, the fourth day of december 2019 my time here is 11 o'clock in the morning so wherever you are guys let me greet you a good morning good afternoon and good evening depends where you are listening from remember during uh, the period of uh, presidential um, tribunal case between Atiku Abubakar and um, President Buhari where he was um, challenging the victory of uh, President Buhari the February 23 presidential election Atiku Abubakar was not in Nigeria so all this while um, he was in Dubai for about six months plus something like that okay so um, he had his reason for not being in Nigeria during uh, that um, petition all right uh, but so far Atiku Abubakar um, had returned to Nigeria and he was spotted at the registry of the Federal Capital Territory High Court in Metema all right now you may wonder what Atiku Abubakar is doing in a Federal High Court all right well he formally deposed to his own witness statement on oath before the commissioner for oath to kickstart remember the libel suit against Onoje and eight of president uh, Buhari so I think Kuabu Baka, who was um, the candidate of the PDP in the February 23 2019 presidential election had in May this year uh, threatened a legal action against Onoje who is the special assistant uh, to President Buhari on social media. So the legal action was in connection to the publication um, where Onoche on a Twitter handle alleged that Atiku is on the watch list of security operatives in Dubai for alleged criminal matters. So Onoche in, um, in the said publication of May 7, 2019 also accused Atiku of shopping for terrorists in the Middle East. So Atiku, um, according to her, he said Atiku on um, UAE watch list. So that was um, a tweet. Security source, security operatives in the United Arab Emirates are keeping a close tap on the former Nigerian Vice President Atiku Abubakar, who has been in Middle East nation for several weeks now what is he doing there me shopping for terrorists so that was the tweet of a uh, uh, or okay so the pdp presidential candidate insisted that there is no iota of truth in the set publication all right which is beginning to affect public perception of his person adding that the publication since it was made has caused him national and international backlash and embarrassment as well as um, incalculable damage. So Atiku, while challenging the victory of President Buhari in the February 23 presidential election um, at the election petition tribunal and the Supreme Court was in United Arab Emirates until last week when he returned to the country so this move was confirmed to um, from his lawyer okay Mike Ozekumi who described Onoche's statement as not only vile and denigrating but a calculated attempt to disparage his person in the eyes of right-thinking members of the public all right so far you can see from that uh, picture there where Atiku Abubakar is signing um is signing the witness statement on oath before the commissioner for oath to kickstart the libel suit against Onoche and head of president Mohamedou uh, Buhari all right so guys um that is the update i have for you uh today so um if this is your first time of watching any of our video part of your effort to support us is to make sure you subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you get instant notification whenever we have stories 
uh, like this to share with you guys if you have anything to contribute put it down in the comment section below i will see you guys in another video